welcome to the new, oh, I'm stuck, <laughs> the new <laughs> spring recital workshop format. We are so happy whether you are joining us live or whether you are watching this later on. We're just so thrilled to be able to do this and to present this music for your spring recitals. This is our 33rd spring recital workshop. Um, so we're excited to carry on this tradition in a new and different way. Um, before we go on, I just want to mention that first piece we did. It is Eiffel Tower Waltz by Katherine Rollin, an intermediate level duet I also want to say that all of these duets we're doing today are actually for one piano, four hands. But because we are social distancing, we're at two different pianos. So keep that in mind. Um, that's a wonderful, wonderful lyrical waltz. So back to some logistics for this morning. Because this is a live broadcast, you are able to comment. If you have any questions, Please feel free to comment, and we will answer questions as we go along with the morning, um, just as we would if we were alive together in person. And so, we do miss you. We do so miss seeing your faces and having you smile and laugh with us. Also, all of these titles are going to be 21% off. We're so excited, it's 2021. So if you order these online or if you go into the store through the end of February, you will get the 21% off of all these titles. This morning for this first workshop, we are starting with the elementary through early intermediate pieces. Um, come back at the 1030 and we'll do intermediate to advanced. So we have a lot of brand new pieces. We also have some older things that we've brought back to kind of fill in the holes. If you are a composer, and I know there probably are some of you there. I didn't tell you that. Um, we need some elementary pieces. So over this next year, please do some more composing. We need some elementary pieces. But we have some oldies and goodies that will still fill your needs. A Day in the Mountains by Mary Leaf. This is a free reading book. Often we'll have students who come in late to the game and we need free reading for the recital. A Day in the Mountains was actually written in 2007, but I'm glad to bring it back. We have both white key pieces and black key pieces. We're gonna start with Mist Upon the Mountain, middle C position. to go with that. Bears on the Hill, this one is on the black keys. elementary piece, early elementary piece, is quite accessible and can be learned by a young student after only a few lessons. So if you have a new beginner a month or so before the spring recital, uh, you might be able to have uh, him or her participate. You will hear the frogs hopping. <laughs> <laughs> 
catchy lyrics and the melody really does paint a picture of hopping frogs. Two, three, four. And there's quite a bit of alliteration in the uh, lyrics, too. Froggies like to hop, 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 stop, 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 plop, plop, plop. Very entertaining. I forgot to tell you, introduce us, actually. Most of you watching, I'm sure, know us. But we are out to a wider spread group this year, which is awesome. Barbara Omna. Hello. Has joined me, and I am Lorna Wolthoff. So we have done this together for quite a few years. Uh, this is about my 10th, but Lorna is... Um, I think I figured out this is my 23rd. So <gasps> Woo. we're glad to be with you. A new book from Chose Music by Hench, Wonderful Me. I love this. In our distance learning, our distance teaching that we're doing right now, we have to check in with the student a little bit. I always take the first couple minutes, you know, how was your week? How's your day? How are you doing? And so often they just sound down. This book has fill in the blanks for all of the pieces and it talks about you. What it, what's going on with you right now? Um, the first piece in here is I like me. I like me, I'm wonderful to be, I like me, it's true as one, two, three. One thing I'm good at is, you get them to open up a little bit, see what they like. I like me, I just love being me. Um, and they have wonderful teacher duets. So let's start with I like me. Two, three, four. <laughs> help make me look like me. <laughs> my feelings, sometimes I feel, and sometimes I feel. It's a wonderful time to open up a little bit. We're gonna also play trying hard. I try hard at, and I try hard at. It's hard work to try, 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 but it makes me feel. So here we go, trying hard with rocket. One, two, three, four. <laughs> positive messages in Hip Hip Hooray, I Can Play. Uh, Elizabeth Greenleaf tells us that this book was written to correlate with most level one books. Very convenient. It provides a variety of sounds, moods, and touches. They're very artistic. There are also a variety of themes. Everything from I Like Spaghetti to shoe shine blues and bubbles in the air. Lorna, let's play sounding trumpets. Uh, the student is instructed to play at an octave higher uh, to, and to play as though they're announcing the arrival of somebody very important. Two, three, four. <laughs>
I'm always amazed at how these experienced composers can paint such a picture with five notes. Uh, also, on my trampoline, when playing the middle section of this piece, the student is to think of bouncing up and down on a trampoline. You'll hear that. One, two, three. <laughs> save time on that. Hip, hip, hooray, I can play. Moving from early elementary into elementary, I've pulled out some of the old Bastion pieces. This is a Lisa Bastion piece, the baby dinosaur. You are in neighboring positions. It's from 1992. Um, some of these we've totally forgotten about, and it's fun to bring back some goodies. to her door. She invites him in for a bite to eat and wakes up from her dreams to find him quite extinct. <laughs> Jeannie Costello gives us a melancholy waltz in A minor, almost middle C position. The hands do remain in five finger position but do octave jumps. The melody weaves from left to right hand. This uh, piece will get your student to play lyrically, sensitively, and to learn phrasing as well as legato and staccato. and she was talking about recycling. How crazy is that? We're still working on this concept of recycling 30 years later. Wow. Organize, separate, we sort with ease. fun to play. Uh, Well-placed staccatos remind us of, of fiddles and the teacher part makes us feel like we're at a Saturday night hoedown. We did a 
all second endings. Isn't that fun? Love that one. And we'll give Lori Bastion here um, equal rights with her sister. Dancing Ponies. This is all about a carousel. We're adding eighth notes, quite a few accidentals, and harmonic thirds. as a recital piece for 30 years, as long as we've been recycling. <laughs> Written in 1991 by the prolific Jane Bastion. Incorporates C, F, and G triads, but she tastefully incorporates uh, accidentals. called Piece by Piece. And I have book B here with me in the elementary section. Original piano solos that give different styles, exploring techniques and moods. We have the Big Escape, the Game Master. Um, all of these little kids now are Game Masters. It's crazy. The Mummy, Oath to the Earth, the Roaming Drone, all all things that all the kids know about these days. We are going to start with squeaky clean. Fast and bubbly. One, two, three, four. <laughs> in here called Swiss Echoes and I'm going to ask Barbara not to join me until measure five with the teacher duet um, because you'll really hear the yodel in the solo part it's fun teacher duet in piece by piece, yes. don't they? Oh, love animal antics. Um, Tracy McKibben, hadn't heard of her. She writes, explore the fun side of music with these playful pieces and imaginative lyrics depicting a wide variety of animals. These colorful works are perfect for just study um, and recital. Love the titles. Moose on the Loose, Lenny the Lying Lion. Let's play that one for starters. 
Lorna. Oh, you don't have a duet part with me no on this, duet. do you? You want me to make it up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Key of F. <laughs> Lenny the Lying Lion. Again, creative, funny lyrics. The fly and the bumblebee, I'll touch on 6 8. can get substantial mileage out of this. It's, I, it can be a struggle to have parents buy books uh, and the student only plays one piece out of it, but I, this is going to go over several months and really delight your students. A lot of variety and fun challenges. Moving into the late elementary class, we have Pond Reflections by Nancy Lau. Easy pieces in an impressionistic style are hard to find. I think both your older students and your young students alike are going to love this little gem. Great for introducing harmonic pedaling. country. <laughs> I think it was appropriate that Lorna gave this little Dutch girl the following selection, <laughs> Tulip Time. It is a beautifully expressive piece. It gently unfolds. Both hands receive a turn with the melody, F major. Another Lisa Bastian piece from 1992. Staccatos, legatos, accidentals. Uh, we have some thirds and some chords in root position. 
the words really support the rhythm, which is kind of fun in this piece. Outside my house in a, is a little flowing creek. Live the backyard friends I seek. Frogs, dragonflies, spiders really aren't so meek. I spend time with them all week. Eventually, all of these little insect friends come inside and play hide and seek, and mom sees them at the end and screams, eek, eek. composition heartbreaker again uses root position chords but more of them she adds d minor d flat major and the phrases are longer she weaves a very creative melody around just root position chords Ikeda writes is wonderful and I pulled out this 2011 gem evening melody a lovely singing melody and I think your more mature student is really going to enjoy this and appreciate this elegant piece Lorna introduced the piece by piece collection. Uh, we were doing book B for elementary. This is book C, same composer, 11 late elementary color pieces. More opportunities to explore styles, moods, techniques. Each of these pieces stays well within the uh, um, late elementary level while experiencing various registers and getting the students to branch into chromaticism and more coordination between hands. And again, they have student accompaniments, teacher accompaniments. So Lorna, uh, let's play numero uno.
let us also touch on of pirates and gold. Every student loves a good pirate song. They get to put on the patch for the recital. Oh, yes, and, perfect. And even though it instructs the student to play an octave higher, I didn't like the soprano sounding pirate. So I'm keeping it down in the mid range. Here we go. This book is by Jennifer Eklund of Piano Pronto fame. It includes 15 easy lyrical solos, calming pieces, which we all need these days, a great opportunity for beginners to late beginners. So this really has quite um, a variety of levels. For example, this first piece you stay in the same position and you only have nine notes through the entire thing. Explore lyrical playing and rubato, pedal work. Later on in the book, we start adding syncopation and a little bit more note work. This is On My Way. different linger um, levels. I was reading this title, Let It Linger. That is actually Jennifer Eklund. Black Cat Prowl. Flowing lyrical eighth notes in the right hand create uh, chordal patterns. Lush harmonies. Uh, this piece is in A minor and will teach your student proper voicing and careful pedaling. Do you want me to tell them about your black cat, Drew? Lorna? No, we're... we're we should keep moving? Fine, we should keep yeah, moving. Okay. I do have a black cat, Drew, though. <laughs> that looks just like the cover. And I grew up with a black cat named <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> black Cat Pro, this is, this is fun.
intermediate section, The Renegade by Edwin McLean. Uh, roaming free under the big sky, you'll hear a driving beat with a little bit of a western feel, some easy syncopation, and some fun crossovers at the end. reflective piece with an easy left hand accompaniment in D minor. David also recommends using this piece as a sight reading tool. Is off beautifully with arpeggios. We have another beautiful melody in a melancholy night by Aikida. Again, this is one of her older pieces, 2011. This melody really stays with you. It's reminiscent of a lyrical Chopin waltz or maybe a quiet mazurka. It's in the key of E minor. An entertaining etude featuring down-up motions that really do hop, feels great in the hands, and features two-note slurs with some scales. It sounds hard, but it's surprisingly easy, and uh, it's also a very good classical track prep song.
going to just play the end because it's got a real ta-da. <laughs> a new suite called the Outdoor Suite. Six individual pieces that you could use as one or two page solos, or you can use the whole set of six. Character pieces encouraging the student to expand their awareness of dynamic shading, uh, touch, contrasting, articulation. Here is Woodland Theme. just touch on the lazy day blues. and Reveries uh, features 11 original compositions composed by Chrissy Ricker, who again is a part of Jennifer Eklund's composer community. Boy, they sure have been a resource. Um, the, this collection goes from sweeping lyrical solos to fiery rhapsodies. This is Water Lilies. of sequence. Uh, uh, the fingering is easy so the student can get command of those quickly. In E minor, winter winds. Timely, very timely. <laughs> music for your adult students, there is a brand new Popular Hits Level 3. This is from the Alfred's Adult course. You certainly don't have to use it with that, but you can, or you can use it alone. Tom Giroux has written some gorgeous arrangements of some pieces new and older. You've got the good, the bad, and the ugly, happy together, mm -hmm. theme from Friends. Here is Hamilton. E 
even a little Gershwin. such a great job of arranging these. Cabaret, Ashokan Farewell. Wonderful source of popular music for your adults. Sold! I'll take one. Perfect! 21% off! That's right. Good way to sneak in that reminder. <laughs> Big Top Solos, a grouping of 10, you guessed it, circus themed solos featuring an array of tonal centers and styles. Uh, again, um, Good uh, late, early intermediate, but uh, adults could uh, take advantage of this selection too. Here's Acrobats in the Spotlight. trapeze. Wonderful introduction to syncopation. Great contemporary sound. jazz style showcase solos with many different kinds of jazz styles in this book. It's really remarkable what she's done. Cat napping. They all like to do that. which is one of my favorites because your right hand is on the white keys and your left hand is right above it on the black keys. book 
in addition to the great music that's in here, is in the back there is a suggested listening guide. If your student likes jazz, there are so many suggestions she has for listening. If you like Ragtime and Dixieland, listen to Bolcom's Tabby Catwalk or Jelly Roll Morton, King Porter's Stamp. Stomp, sorry. Um, if you like traditional big band and swing, Glenn Miller's In the Mood, Benny Goodman's Airmail Special. And there are 10 different types of jazz, each having four suggestions of things to listen to. So it's going to expand their knowledge on jazz and really give them something to do. They all like their devices, so it'll give them something new to listen to. Christopher Oyle writes, when students learn new techniques, they feel like they have superpowers. In this book, that feeling is amplified with superpower titles relating to the technique in focus and sounds that are similar to those heard in popular superhero theme music. We've got time travel, teleportation, flight. I'm going to start with strength. harmonies and it really does capture that superhero feel x-ray vision duets in these early levels, starting with an older 2008 duet, Floating in the Cro Clouds, elementary duet by Emily Lynn. This is going to appeal to all ages of students. It's got a beautiful sensitive melody. We're in the key of A minor. <laughs> gives us seven equal level imaginative duets that will delight your young pianists. And again, what uh, I like about this piece is that there is a descriptive paragraph uh, to help the student capture the mood and theme of each piece. Let us play the jokey juggler. And 
and we get to do some choreography with Bumper Car Joy. Are you quite ready? I'm ready. All right. One, two, three, four. by Kevin Costley. This is an early intermediate duet. Both parts we require a lot of ledger line reading, so just be aware of that. Um, but the parts are stacked right on top of each other, so it's easy to follow along what your partner is doing. So here we go. serotonin levels up with party polka. Our last uh, collection of this section is All American Ragtime Duets. I think the ragtime purist would approve of these. It's a collection of six, all inspired by various cities around the United States. So we are going to start with Kansas City, right? Yes. Kansas City Rag. And this is early intermediate. Thank you. One, two, three, two. <laughs> Inspired by Joplin, Missouri, the Joplin Jubilee Rag.
Austin All-American Ragtime Duets. We are going to take a short break. If you are coming back, we will have a 1030 session for the intermediate to advanced. So thank you for joining us and we'll see you back soon. <laughs>